Good afternoon, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. I was asked by a subscriber to look into spirulina and chlorella, and today I will be covering the possible dangers of consuming spirulina. Even though spirulina was declared by the United Nations as the best food of the future, we should be cautious when using it as a supplement. Many doctors have warned of potential danger when consuming spirulina. Spirulina is said to deliver a wide spectrum of nutrients and possibly possess many health benefits. However, spirulina is also known to absorb heavy metals and toxins from its environment, such as mercury and lead. Spirulina grown in areas with large concentrations of these metals can contain dangerously high amounts of them passing them on to consumers. A 1986 study revealed alarming high concentrations of lead and mercury in several brands of spirulina supplements. A 1989 study found the concentrations to be much lower. Concluding that one would have to take in more than 77 grams of the most heavily contaminated spirulina daily to suffer from toxicity, many have stated that it is absolutely vital to make sure that the supplement is from a clean source. Sadly, many spirulina products on the market today are grown in areas that may be affected by environmental pollution. In addition, it's not just the environment you need to watch. There are yet more toxins that find their way into commercially produced algae. A group of German researchers conducted a study published in Toxicology and Applied Pharmacology in 2011 reviewing the safety of blue-green algae. They analyzed 13 commercially distributed products and found cytotoxins, substances that are harmful to cells, in each of them. The researchers concluded that such nutritional products are highly questionable. In a different study, researchers traced the neurotoxin BMAA to the cycad seeds, the chamorros used to make flour for tortillas. BMAA is also found in blue-green algae. Animal studies have shown that monkeys fed fruit to which BMAA was added developed brain changes. Described as nearly identical to those found in the brain tissue of chamorros who died from the Alzheimer's-like disease. Spirulina contains microcystins, groups of amino acids that can be toxic to your liver if you take in too much of them according to Purdue University. Because scientists have not yet determined a specific intake amount that is toxic, many nutritional product manufacturers do not regulate them at all. These are the main reasons why certain doctors are warning about the dangers of consuming spirulina. Dr. Wells states on his website, quote, No, to my mind spirulina never has been safe. I have been warning against it for years and the finding that a neurotoxin found in some spirulina may be related to neurological diseases is the main reason to avoid it." End quote. Additionally, Dr. Greger from NutritionFacts.org on his website states, quote, So unless there is third-party testing of each batch, which no company could presumably afford to do, I encourage people to avoid spirulina products. End quote. The main word in both of these doctors' quotes is avoid. Links to all the studies are posted in the description. There are similar warnings for chlorella, but I don't think that there is as many. I will research and share it in a separate video. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.